like a small boat on the ocean. Hi, I'm Dakota. I'm a blogger for the Victorious Foundation. Into motion, like how a single word can make a heart open. A little bit about me is I was diagnosed with non Hodgkin's lymphoma on January 8th, 2016. I um, first went to Kennedy Hospital at about 2 a.m. because I was coughing very badly. And when I got there, they told me I had allergies, and that's where I got it. Then they decided to do an x-ray and discovered that I had pneumonia, which they later sent me to CHOP for because my pneumonia looked weird. <laughs> and it turned out that I had cancer. So I actually spent a week in the um, PICU because they really didn't know specifically what type of cancer I had just that it was not Hodgkin's lymphoma and so they did not know exactly how to treat it. When I first got diagnosed, I had just recently turned 17, which meant that I had just gotten my license and was finally able to drive. And once you have cancer, you can't exactly drive anymore. So I couldn't drive for six months. When I finally was done my chemo, I was taken off my pain meds and I was able to drive again for about three to four months. And now that I'm going to be in isolation after my transplant, I'm not going to be able to drive for another six to eight months. On September 13th, I had a fertility procedure where they removed the outside layer of one of my ovaries in the hopes that one day they can be put back inside of me and I can have children. I had to have this procedure done because on the 26th of September, I'll be getting very high doses of chemo in order to get the stem cell transplant. So I have a week of very high dose chemo, and then I'm going to have my old cells that they took away from me back in June put back inside. And this will completely start my immune system from fresh and should be my final step in my cancer process. After my next treatment, I'll be forced to have to stay in isolation, which means I can't leave my house, and people can only come see me if they were masked for six to nine months. So hopefully I'll be able to go back to school and finish my senior year in May. But other than that, it's a big question of how to treat them. Before I got diagnosed, I was the head of the tech crew for my high school for this place that we were, that we would have every year. And I was a straight A AP student. Once I got diagnosed, everything changed and my life went from worrying completely about the next AP test it's worrying about how it's going to get through the next day. Now I'm in my senior year and I'm going to be doing cyber school and only taking the classes that I completely need to graduate so that I can then go to college because I'm going to study speech pathology. <laughs> so it was very hard being a teenager in a children's hospital because it was very obvious that everything was geared towards the younger children. Yeah, I think it's really important to understand that we know we have cancer, and although it is important to, for everyone to be aware of it and to know what's happening, we also just want to feel like normal people, and we don't want to be in the body constantly. I, during my third admission, I um, received a Victorious Teen Kit bag, and when I was going through it, I was loving everything, and I especially loved the bag, and I realized that the uh, foundation was right by my clinic that I go to almost every week. So I decided that I wanted to meet everybody and see what it was all about. So I came here, and the day that I came here to see everyone, my face was actually on everybody's computer because I was their teen of the day. And it just made me feel very special and like people actually cared about what I was going through and it wasn't just me and my family that were going through it. Finding out about this foundation really did change everything for me. Uh, it wasn't just receiving a teen kit in a hospital, which did brighten my day, but it ended up being so much more with the people that work here and just how warm and nice everyone is. They literally did give me a voice with letting me write this blog, and it really has changed the way my family and friends view what I'm going through, and even the way I view myself in going through all this. 
and it's going to be a better outlook on how I should go forth with my own life and has let me process my own thoughts in a healthy way. Like a small boat on the ocean, sending big waves into motion, like how a single word can make a heart open. I might only have one match, but I can make an explosion.